Hello everyone, this is DJZ32 back again. It's time for another card class. Today's card class is a very ghostly one. Because it's the White Artifice, Thunder Artifice versus the White Ghosts. This one was requested by Peter Miller, unfortunately. I think that was a Facebook request, so I don't know what his channel is. And let's get right on into it. Let's start off with the bicycle one. Obviously, bicycle and ghost. Got the nice spade pip on there. Just a white rider back. White seal. It's actually Queen of Hearts reveal on the top. And a Jack of Diamonds reveal on the barcode. Which is fairly standard on a lot of the older Illusionist decks and other similar decks. Ironically. <laughs> Your cards. This is in no particular order. They all have black pips. Red cards have red indexes as you can see. The hearts and the diamonds only, not the numbers. Black cards are all black, of course. Court cards, devoid of color again, they're just black and white. Jokers. You get this guy, looks like Scarecrow from Wizard of Oz or something. And it says Joker on it, kind of cool. It says Mundus Vault the CP, which is uh, Worlds of Deception or something like that. The other Joker is identical. Some versions might actually have a reveal underneath his foot. This one does not. And your Ace of Spades. It's pretty nice. Nice spade clip. It says Bicycle 8 on there. Ghost. The A is actually superimposed on the, I guess if that's the right word, on the spade pip in the index, which is different. And, yeah. That's the bicycle ghost. And the back, of course, is the black and white rider back. This is the, like, the original custom playing card, the first one. And it's pretty cool. Still handles pretty good. The other one is a Thunder Artifice. As you can see, it's just like the other Artifice decks. There's Artifice on it. It's all black and white and kind of faint, if you will. The color is faint. And of course, it says that on top. <laughs> the Latin thing. Back, so it's a back design. Artifice Tundra on the flap. And etc. That card, you do get a double backer. And there's your back design. It's just like the other artifice decks, except just black and white. And again, a lot of the colors, a lot of background is faint, dull, whatever you want to call it. You do get the artifice pips and indexes, which is nice. The red cards. Diamonds and hearts are the same as the other deck, just the red pip in the index. Court cards, again, kind of the same thing, all black and white, but with the artifice court card. The ace of spades, pretty nice, the artifice ace of spades, uh, spade pip. I like it pretty nice. And you jokers. Right here somewhere. You got the artifice joker. The guy doing some magic. He's got a card behind his back. And if we find the other joker. You can see he's revealing the ace of hearts. You probably can't see that though. Overall though. Pretty nice stack of stock. Everything is pretty nice. The handle is very nice. Unlike the other deck, it has a magic finish. And I'm guessing a bicycle stock. It's not something they say a whole lot. Actually, it almost feels like an aristocrat stock. It's nice and flexible. Soft. So I'm going to say that it's an aristocrat stock. Without 100% certainty, though. 
Uh, so it's got a little bit nicer stock and finish than the original Ghost. If I had to choose one of these two, I don't know, it's very hard to choose. They're both very similar. Whoops, we'll zoom out a little bit. They're both very similar yet different at the same time. You gotta give it up for the first ever custom deck of White Ghost. However, I'm gonna have to go with the Artifice. I just like it a lot more. I really like the... What I really like about the Artifice is unlike the bicycle, it truly is custom. Completely custom court cards, pips, not to mention the Ace of Spades and the Jokers, and the back design. It's all completely custom. The Ghost might have been the first custom deck, but all they really did was make a black and white back design, made the pips on the Hearts and Diamonds black, black and white court cards, and custom Ace and custom Jokers, but I'd say that is still kind of fairly standard. Whoops, court card. This is terrible. Court cards are still standard. Tips are still standard. The back design is still standard, so. I don't know. I kind of like the artifice. The artifice has a really nice back design. Nothing wrong with the classic writer back or anything like that, but. The artifice just has a, a nicer back design. And that's your court cards and number cards and everything. But anyways, that's what I've got. I told you to go check out Peter's channel, except I don't know what his channel is. If I find out, I'll post a link. If not, oh well. The upcoming card classes include... LTD vs. Archangels. Saddle Masters vs. Black Arcane. Guardians vs. Gold Dragon Backs. Robocycle vs. Mechanic. Arum vs. Tendril, Red Jack vs. Red Crown, Smoke and Mirror vs. Stingers, Salt and Republic vs. Artisan, Sentinels vs. Black Scorpion, and that's like the whole month of August right there, <laughs> pretty much. And I got, actually maybe not, and I got a whole bunch of deck reviews coming, of course. And, I will be doing marathons, like all month, next month, so I'm going to be doing a week of card classes, a week of deck reviews, maybe a week of top tens or magic or whatever we'll see who knows maybe a week of contests probably not but who knows <laughs> anyways that's what i've got i'll see you next time